Hey there, guys. I'm Round the Wheel, and you're watching Lemmings for the Sega Genesis, and it looks like we're starting off with a uh, regular level today. This one was in the original. I thought they might as well just throw out the whole taxing thing and just start doing their own difficulty ratings now, but we're back to an original here. Lend a helping hand. This one is not too bad. You just gotta, you just gotta make the right effort here. All right, let's see. Let's see how far down I have to mine. Get down with your funky, bad little lemming self. We gotta get everybody going into the one space here. Okay, that's... That's a little too deep, but it shouldn't matter because we have two diggers. We have more than enough, really, to, uh... to solve this with grace and poise. Alright, now you dig down in there. And, uh, it looks like you're actually gonna have to do a little bit of bashing. Yes, we got a straight little hole there, and it's perfect, and it's lovely. Actually, I really like where this is going, because it allows one guy to do all the work now. And not worry so much about... Oh, I'm pushing the B button. What am I doing? I was like, why isn't anybody responding here? But, turns out it's because I'm pushing the B button, not the C button. That's the one you get to do all the crazy things. Okay, so now we need to, we need to bump past these things. These are like needles that shoot out... And basically just devastate your lemming. So hopefully I'm building at the right angle here. And I have a miner that I can pull this off with. So it's not going to be too terrible, I don't think. I think I may not have started. I don't think I started from far enough back, actually. Let's go ahead and just... There aren't too many people walking around, but why chance it? Let's go ahead and uh, get building up in here. And I guess we'll see if I... Yeah, I basically... Yeah, I basically just sent them to the executioner's chamber, I think. Oh, yeah. I need to get right on it. I need to start building, I think, from this block right here. That's a good landmark to remember. This is going to be... This is going to be a tricky one to pull off. For sure. And seven years ago. Actually, if I... Uh, let's do it one more time. Yeah, let's get right under it. That's probably not the safest thing in the world. Hopefully it has... Oh, God. That was stupid. Hopefully it has a forgiving hitbox like it does in the original Lemmings, but I think as it is, I'm going to end up building straight into it. Yeah, I'm going to end up probably taking this dude's life. That is unfortunate. Yeah, this is going to make... He's going to die. How the hell did he not die just now? Oh, that's crazy wonderful. Okay. Alright, let's... Okay, let's try to make the moves here. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit more funky building here. We're gonna go a little low so that he doesn't get pegged in the face. We're gonna make this we're gonna make this a little more complicated than it has to be, I think. But if I can get the right angle here, okay, okay, and then he's gonna turn around. We don't want him to get shot by the needles because they can kind of take it in the back if you get at the right spot. Yeah, there we go. That's absolutely fantastic right there. Okay, and then... Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know too much about this. But if you basically get to the top one... If you basically get to the top row... Wow, it's like these things don't even function practically. Wow, this is... This is, uh... This is pretty stupid. So now, if I get this right... If I get this right, I basically have... Okay, yeah... I have one chance to get this right. No, I have no chances to get... Well... Um... I might be able to salvage this if I do it right. But as it is, I've basically screwed up. I think... I only have one builder left, and I need to patch up this hole. So I need to get a guy right here. And I'm going to blow him up. That'll hopefully send everybody where they need to go. Ha oh, ho my goodness... I can't believe I did that. Wow. Wow, that was... There was... That ab, that had absolutely no right to be a first try sort of deal. Well, I'll be damned. Well, actually, we can save this one, too. Let's go ahead and uh, get them going that way. Yeah. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, yeah. I was about to get really scared there. That was... That was all kinds of not good. Now, assuming nothing else bad happens... Yeah, this thing, this thing has a very generous hitbox. You have to basically build directly into it to get nailed by it. And I think I saved, no, 38 lemmings, and I only killed basically three. 
That ought to qualify me for 75% status. Yeah, yeah, I would have to save 30, and I have absolutely done that. So hooray for me. I wonder if we're I wonder if we're gonna blow pretty comprehensively through this steel or what. Yeah, wow. Did they even bother making steel area there? Holy moly. So I guess if you get really close to it and you're standing on bridge building ground, you could actually blow through steel. That seems a little bit glitchy. Not that they would actually use that in a level, but I mean come on. Come on, guys. Come on, really? The prison! This is also a familiar one. I said the prison because, you know, emphasis on the exclamation point. The prison! Bam! Alright, this one is this one is a little bit funky, and and we have fire below us now, so there is that added little perk. Let's get you going. Let's get you going at the very edge. It helps to dig right here. Okay, yes, and then get this on. Alright, that's good. Now, once you hit the steel, which is somewhere down here colors kind of run together. That's a little bit funky. But yes, this is our first real dealing with pixel-wide holes. So this is going to be really tough on the old controller hands. Yeah, maybe I should worry about raising the release rate later. That might be a better idea. Okay, and we can let him turn around. I think we have plenty of time to pull this off. If we can get up into the little nook there. Okay. Okay, yeah, you've got your you've got your insurance going. Go ahead and build. And hit your head. That's wonderful. That's lovely. But we have 20 builders to pull it off. You have plenty You have plenty of room to make mistakes here. It's not that bad at all. Okay, so now he's going to... I think I'm actually going to build one more bridge right there. Because usually when you bash, they'll shave off the top portion of ground there. So if I give myself a little room to work, and I get right up on the edge of that... That'll give me that'll give me a little space there, but I have to be deadly accurate on that pause button. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that gave me some space to work with, definitely. And I want to do the same thing there as well. Give myself just a little bit of workaround room, because with this, with these, uh, with these uh, imprecise controls, you need all the insurance you can get. So let's pop down. Now we can bash again. And once we get over to the once we get over to the other part, it won't be so bad at all. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, friend? Okay. What are you doing there, friendo? Count it. Okay, so now, once we get over here. Okay, this should be mostly taken care of at this point. I just have to basically not screw up too terribly. Alright, this is this is a good time right here. We're all having a good time. We're all friends here. And I think if I stretch... Actually, I'm just going to let him go. I can get out my basher at this point. Just don't go up into the fire. It's blazing fast and furious. Vin Diesel is not involved here. Okay, yeah. Let's end that early. No! No, 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 no. I am going to save you. I am going to save you, little man. This is not the end for you. Rest assured, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, whew, well, yeah, you can see how these uh, original levels kind of pale in comparison to what came after it, you know. The Sunsoft people, they had a template to work from, so they knew how to, they knew, they knew how to make it hard. They knew how to make it nice, and, you know, they had, they had inspiration from which to take off. They had a previous launching pad. Sinosis was just kind of making things up as they went along, and unfortunately the levels aren't always as a challenging as they maybe should be for this point in the game so uh, you know you do what you can you, you you take your lumps but yeah they did pretty good there that's yeah that that made it that made it much trickier the fire also added an element of danger definitely i mean a bottomless pit would have been dangerous sure but i mean i mean let's get real here so uh excellent we're gonna be moving on now moving right along what is next is it compression method one it's compression method one. All right, my the order in my memory is holding up so far. I guess we're back to loading up on originals. Don't be fooled by the title. There are not multiple compression methods. There's just this one level here, 50 lemmings, and we have to save 60% of this time. But if I am able to glitch it, we can save a good 100% or like more close to 98% actually. Let's go ahead for, well, digging would be the right thing to start off with. Okay, I need to see how many how many digs do I want to take. I think if I remember right, it's like one, two, three, four. 
Okay, yeah, and then let's get this blocked off here. Okay, I think he might actually be digging. He might stop, actually. So I may have wasted my digger. I was trying to go for distance here. No, looks like he's... No, I was going to say, he's not continuing to go. So I need to give him, like, five digs, actually. What I'm trying to do is get just down far enough that I end up cutting half through this thing and half through steel. And that should mitigate the splat height enough that it makes them, uh, it gives it, oh, we have no builders, okay, so that's something to worry about there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to decrease the height enough on this fall by bashing through a mixture of bashable ground and steel. Just enough so that when they hit bottom here, they'll all walk to the exit. Let's try that again, now that you know what's going on here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That should be good. And if I can get him bashing right now. Okay, I think, I, I think I'm a little bit lower this time. And uh, start and pause. Okay, everybody is good to go there. So I think I'm going through enough of a mixture now that he'll continue to keep bashing. I hope so, anyway. That's, that's the idea, hopefully. And it did not take, once again. Maybe I just need to get... Maybe I just need to get right up on it over with this guy. So we need to clear out some space here first. All right, so let's get it so that... Okay, yeah, they're, they're going that way. We need to establish our blocker already. We need to clear out space very quickly here. Otherwise, it's going to become an impossible mishmash that we won't be able to work with. Okay, now we've got a bunch of people in a big space where they can walk around. Now I'm going to get close to this. So that they have a little space to walk through there. Okay, yeah. Okay, he's already digging partially through steel. So that's a good sign. Yeah! That worked out perfectly. Okay, that actually was much clearer. This is one that I always have a little bit of trouble refreshing my brain on. But yeah, it basically worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. Number one perfection. Okay, let's blow him up. Well, they still have a ways to walk, actually. But uh, once they are all turned around, let's get him blown up. And then uh, check this one off our list. We're moving at a much better pace than yesterday. That's for damn sure. Sometimes also this level freaks me out. And I end up feeling like I have to save 100% of the limbings for some reason. But it's 98. You can afford to kill that blocker. And that is good to know. Good to know for me anyway. Level 7. Jump down. Another original. 100 and 100. And 6 minutes. Dag on. What's going on here? <clears throat> What's going on here is that my throat is scratchy, and I need to not eat chips and salsa before I record a video. It's the breakfast of champions, though. Who can resist? Jump down. Let's let's see how far down we got to jump. Boy, they really love this uh, spinal cord structure. It really makes for some uh, some interesting times. This is kind of like a ladder would be handy. Okay, let's okay yeah, let's get safe. Let's jump down. How many do I have to say? I have to save all of them. That's right. So. Uh, where to from here, my lord? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get. Okay. Okay. I've I've got a way. I've got a way here. I've got a way to slow them all down. Okay. You start. Well, that is not nearly where I wanted you to start from. I think maybe now that's going to cause imminent disaster. Yeah, I wanted him to start from much earlier so that. Uh. Okay. Yeah. That so that there would uh. Oh, wow. Well, someone's going to end up dying anyway. Well, no, maybe not. Okay, and then this touches up, but I think I need four bridges to get over here, so uh, already problematic. Can they drop down this thing? They sure can. That's good. That's good to know. Oh, and we need, to, we need a thing to get through this. Okay, like a basher? Okay. So, 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 so what? Who cares? So what? Uh, hmm. Oh, yes, yeah, probably going to be working another sweet spot type of deal. Great. All right, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to have faith in my guys here. I'm going to let this one walk ahead, and he's going to fall down. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. He's not going to splatter or anything. There we go. Now he's he's getting going. And then they'll... Yeah, all right. They nudged right onto the edge of that. It was pixel perfect. It was exactly what I was hoping for. Well, not exactly, because now he's going to hit a big old piece of steel. Maybe I should have let him walk up a little higher. But you, then you can't really accomplish this way. 
because then a guy will just come walking straight down, and that barely gives you time. Because I was going to try, once this was all said and done, I was going to try to mine down through here to have them meet up. Now he's going to hit the steel, though. Or, you know, he's just going to keep going right through it because this is glitchy as hell and messed up. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, so now I just have to hope that he touches up on it exactly right. All right, this is, okay, this is a little bit harrowing, but also fun to see if this works out. Okay, keep going. Keep going, and we'll meet you at the end there, little man. Okay, I did have to do a little bit of stretching to make it work out correctly, but I think I've got it. So, oh, he might hit the thing, though, and I need to save 100%. Don't turn around. <laughs> okay, okay, I was worried about you for a second there. Now I'm worried about you. Are you going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? You're going to do the right thing. Okay, good. Good, because I, I was about to punish some folks. That was about to be bad. I hope I didn't start from too early. I do have a maybe a slight tinge of... Wor no, he's going he's gonna to build it enough of an incline, I think, so that... Yeah, he'll end up at the outer end of the wall. I didn't want him to come down into the tunnel because I felt like somebody might lip up against the wall, turn left, and then when the hole is made, end up going left and out into out into Death Valley here. I should probably, uh, I should probably crank up that release rate, huh? That's probably a good idea there. There we go. Wow, well, nobody was even around when, uh, he got all that shebang going, so that's great. That's great, and that's crazy, and that's wonderful. That one was, oh, man, that one took some, that one took some faith, for sure. That one was a leap of faith, but I'm glad to have been rewarded by it. I like that level overall. There's another little sign just out in the middle of nowhere. They really make use of some parts and tile sets that uh, the original Lemmings people were not so willing to. This this whole big this whole big spine bone thing, uh, these little signs as kind of a, a block. Using this root as a block was especially kind of a surprise to me because usually they end up walking right through those sorts of things. They just walk right up and over the hump and it like it ain't even a thing. So, I think we've got time for one more here today. We're having a lot of fun here, and we are just, uh, we're plugging along the way I think we should be. Last time, kind of a fluke, but those things happen, you know? Lemmings search for treasure, and by treasure, I bet their treasure looks like a giant door, and I bet they'll just hop right into their treasure once they see it. 50 lemmings, and again, 100%, boy, saving 100% is the name of the game here. Although, in the original Lemmings, there is kind of a lump of taxing levels where you end up saving 100%. 100% seems to be kind of the the modus operandi here ever since the beginning of, or ever since near the end of Tricky, once they started really coming into their own on the original levels. What is this search for treasure? <laughs> oh, yeah, just follow the line, I'm sure. So, so what, does that, what does that do for them? How can I, how can I block this up appropriately? Um, who boy. Okay, so Okay, how do I how do I get them? Okay, I think I can manage this. How many builders is this going to take to get roughly to the exit? Probably Oh my. Uh is that going to be splattery? I don't know if it is or not. Uh This is worrisome. I do have a floater though. I do have a floater to work with. Boy, the search for treasure is filled with crumbling floating pillars that's oh okay well okay i don't even have to worry about keeping them out of this little trap right here because okay i see i got gotcha. you uh let's go ahead and have a guy dig first because i think at least one guy is going to walk up out of the hole so oh nobody walks up out of the hole that's uh an interesting development so uh okay well we have an excuse to start over anyway from scratch from fresh scratch, so that's nice at least. Probably want to get that release rate going up to 99.2 once everything happens in its own time. Okay, first dude can take a walk. He's going to be our floater man. And then the rest of them can dig. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to end up using two... Okay, yeah, they're safe, so now I can, uh, I can extend the release rate. Okay, so do I want to... Let's see. Let's, let's work this out. Do I want to go from here... Actually, I think this might be the better path here because I think it'll allow me to go up through here and then up again. That's two bashers. Yeah, I definitely, I think I want to make a beeline through the pyramid there. So that gives me time to crank up my release rate. That's, that's good. All right, yeah, so nobody should splat now. Let's, 
All right, let's get building as soon as we make it out of this hole. That's a little lower than I wanted to get, but I think in the end it'll all work out. We'll just see. It should it should get hunky dory. I also wanna I also gotta remember. Okay, it looks like everybody has made it into the hole at this point, so I wanna stop my digger. That is important right there. We don't want him to just go on forever and ever. And I think I have enough bridges to pull this off as it is. So we'll just be uh, right back in a second when it's all when all the puzzle pieces are in place. Oh, uh, this is looking like it might get a little bit gnarly. I hope he doesn't hit his head too soon. Yeah, he hit his head basically too soon there. Uh, so let's give him a chance to go. I think I have enough builders to pull this off, though. I think once I get past this point, he'll just kind of, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll kind of, well, will he, will he walk on the land there? I think that's mostly safe. I think he can do that. Uh, he might do something funky because of his wobbly floater animation, but... Okay, yeah, he, like, walks directly down onto the pillar. Now it's just about... I have two chances to bash out here. Will I pull it off? Oh, wow. Man, I'm getting really lucky with these uh, luck-type things. I even had one basher left, I'm, which makes me think that I kind of back-routed it a little. Not sure if this is the way you're supposed to go about it, really, but maybe maybe they give you the one extra as insurance, which be, would be kind of nice. That's not quite a mayhem trick, but that kind of fits right in line with sort of a more taxing sort of thing where it's like, oh, oops, I messed up once. I better get my shit together, that sort of thing. But that is going to do it for us today. We're going to stop with uh, this nice little level here that had its funky architect. God, wow. Woo Just about gave me a heart attack there at the end. I mean, I knew it was safe and everything, but still, you still kind of... Still kind of got me on edge a little there. That is going to do it for us today. Next time, join us on level 9. We, we got through quite a nice little swath there today. The game is really starting to show us once again what it's made of. And I think uh, I think I had better be on my toes for these original levels. The the uh, Yeah, for the, for, the, for the ones that Sunsoft made, I mean. The original levels, they can go bump a stump. They're easy. As long as we don't have to deal with anything like Upside Down World or Triple Trouble. The, then we'll be fine. But, I mean... Other than that, uh, other than that, I'm st I'm I'm really having a lot. I, I was about to say I'm starting to have a lot of fun, but I've had fun the whole time, and I will continue to have fun as I see you guys next time.